What's going on guys? If you're watching this video, that means you're looking for a quick and a simple tutorial of how to render 1080p 60fps footage using Sony Vegas Pro. Today I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 11. This will work with more modern versions. It might work with older versions, it depends how old it is. And Movie Studio, you might be able to do this, I'm not sure. This definitely works for Sony Vegas Pro 11 and onwards, so um, give it a try, give it a try. So without further ado, we're going to get straight on with it. So what we're going to do first is preview our footage. This is Battlefield 4 footage, 1080p, 60fps, but in Sony Vegas it is only previewing it at 30 frames per second as you can see here. This is not good. We want 60 frames per second as in the title of the video. The first thing we want to do is get a template. So what we want is 1080 60i and this will give us a full 1080p HD uh, template to work with. Now we'd love to do a couple of things to start off with. Make sure your resolution is 1920 by 1080. That is the resolution of a 1080p video. As you can see the uh, the height is 1080. That's where it gets the name from. Okay, so we're going to adjust our project settings now. So uh, field order, we want progressive scan. That's very important. Frame rate, we want to go with 59.94. Okay guys, 59.94. Don't do 60. 59.94 is where it's at. You want the pixel format to be a 32-bit um, video levels, that's fine. Now, full resolution rendering quality on best, that should be pretty obvious. Leave motion blur as Gaussian. Uh, blend fields is fine. Uh, and you want to start all new projects with these settings just to make it nice and easy for you. Because then you won't have to go, you know, fiddle around with stuff every time you want to make a video. This next part is very important, guys. Go onto your footage. You want to do this before you start editing. Get your raw footage. Right click it, properties. And you want to disable resampling. It'll be on smart resample by default. You want to disable this. Don't stick this out. This is a very important step, guys. Just disable resampling. Click OK. Uh, you will have to do that for each individual footage. You might be able to select them all. I'm only using one here, so that's fine. And we're going to move on to the render settings, guys. So after you've named your video, hopefully you can think of a better name than I did. You can have a look for the templates. You want main concept, AVC. Uh, that's an MP4 video file. Make sure you aren't match project settings. Make sure that's unticked. All right, you want to look for the MP4. And then Internet HD 1080p. Just follow the video, you'll be able to find it, guys. Pretty simple. MP4, widely used, very common. Uh, but you can see it's 30 frames per second, so we want to change that. So we want to untick these. You don't want to adjust the source. Um, you want to, uh, you know, you want to get rid of them. You want to manually enter a frame rate because there's no option for it. We are going to go with 59.94 frames per second. That is what we used for our project settings. So we're going to use the same here, it makes sense. The next one we're going to go for, uh, make sure our field order is progressive. We want to keep that, that's nice. Okay, uh, it might not be like that, so make sure it is progressive, that's important. Variable bitrate, guys. Uh, you definitely want a variable bitrate in this day and age, okay? Um, for our bitrates, I'm going to go to 50. It might be overkill, I'm pretty sure that is overkill, but we want top quality footage. We don't want to uh, limit it in any way. This will mean big file sizes and uh, slightly slower render times because of the high bit rates. lots of information packed into the video. It might take a bit longer to upload as well. Um, especially with the 60 frames per second, but it's going to be worth it. You're going to be having nice quality. The next bit, encoding mode, as you can see, uh, you can encode using CPU, which is your processor. Most of you, I advise using that, CPU only. I would change it to that. If you get any error messages while trying to render, use CPU only. If you have a graphics card that supports rendering, then uh, use your GPU, because that will um, decrease your render time. It'll be a lot faster. Um, just your graphics cards render a lot a lot better than a processor will. Okay, mine doesn't support that, so I'm using CPU only, and uh, you will get an error message if your graphics card can't support that, so just use CPU only. Also, if you want to make this a bit easier for next time, give it a name, so I'm going to call it 60 frames. That is my template, click on the floppy disk to save your template, and next time you want to render, um, your template will appear there, so you can click and load it next time, nice and simple, and you won't have to do all of that, it'll just be ready for you next time. Before you start, make sure you haven't accidentally rendered the loop region only. Those are the little yellow markers found on your uh, timeline. 
make sure you've got that unticked unless you specifically want it, otherwise you might end up with like a 4 second video when you actually wanted to render half an hour. Now mine's a short clip, so it's not going to take too long to render, I just want to point out a couple of things to you guys, if you are enjoying this tutorial and it's helping you at all, uh, do not forget to drop me a like before you leave, I would really appreciate that, and uh, if you have any problems, then uh, come at me, I'm not an expert, but I'll try my best to get you guys uh, sorted out, and I'm sure some people in the comments might be able to help you as well. So once you've done that, you want to click on Open Folder, okay guys, and that will take you to your video. Go on to Properties by right-clicking it, and then navigate over to Details. This will tell you all the stuff you want to know. So 1080p, which is the resolution, the bitrate, and of course, 59 frames per second. 59.4 frames per second rounds down to 59, so that's why it says that. And you've got your audio and stuff like that. That means it's running at 60fps, full HD, which is what you wanted. You can also play it if you want to. Glorious 1080p footage looking absolutely beautiful. Next is to upload it to YouTube. I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to upload a video to YouTube because you guys are idiots. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that already. There you go guys, I've now uploaded it. It will take a little bit of time for YouTube to process it even more. So at the moment it's 360p, but give it a couple of minutes and it will eventually turn into 1080p glorious 60fps. If this video helps you at all, do not forget to drop me a like if you've got a problem. Go into the comments and tell me, maybe I can help you or someone else can. If you have a suggestion or any feedback, if it works, come and tell us. That way other people can see that this works. And uh, hope this did work for you, and peace out, goodbye.